Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and this week I am bringing you something rather special. This is a secret weapon par excellence, but I need you to not be secret about it now because the time has come for it to go public. DS. DS is a very high performance DSer, as you might well imagine. It's like, well, what else would it be? And here's why it's special. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear. It's not what hurting. The sound is the sound. Of the D S. But so this is supposed to be very S C. You can step on. Goodbye. You can step on this. the S's real hard with this guy. Here's the deal. And that's slightly enhanced. That's using this same little microphone, but I boosted it a little bit and recorded it in 96K, so it's acting like it's an extra sibilant microphone. Let me just run it through its paces a little bit so you can see what we're doing. We've got these controls. You can cut the S factor by zero, from 0 dB to minus 48 dB. It's defaulting to 24, because you don't necessarily always want to completely wipe out stuff and you can have the frequency be one which is virtually no change to zero which is obliterating large amounts of the s's and then what happens is when you bring the intensity in you can go full-on uh lifting but reduce that in two different ways one by letting more of the low frequencies through in the frequency or two changing the amount that you're ducking the S's. And here's what it sounds like when you just obliterate it. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de-esser. So this is supposed to be very S-D. Notice something interesting? We still have highs. We still have highs on that vocal. And that's very useful when you have something like, say, a lead vocal, or any human voice in a recording, where you're going to want to be focusing on that super hard, and generally people will have all their attention directed to that, listen to how much of the rest of the vocal comes through. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de So... It's, it's supposed to be very ethy. Fully lifts Thank out. Very much. Goodbye. Now listen to what happens this is when I reduce intensity on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de -ether. So this is supposed to be very ethy. Thank you very much. Goodbye. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de -esser. So this is supposed to be very S-D. Notice how it's increasingly stepping on just the S's and certain ones will get like nuked completely. Intensity is a control that's managing the way this kicks in. And the way this kicks in is it's looking for extreme changes in direction of the frequencies. It's not just looking for a frequency range. It's looking for it kind of like it's physics or something. And extreme S's are just really reversing themselves a lot. And DS is looking for that multiple reversal quality. So as I bring it up a little bit, this is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de -ether. Notice that you're hearing just stuff going on. Like here, let's tighten this right in on, say, one little bit of audio, if we can, and I think we can. Having an easier time managing this end of it, so let's see.
what the sound is of 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 what the sound is sound is of what the 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 there's an s of what the sound is 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 of you can step on just certain parts of an s that way or what the sound is of 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 what the sound is or we can increase the intensity until it starts to smack that s really hard what the sound is of 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 what the sound is and then we start fooling with it the sound is of what 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 the sound is of now with this we've made that s be something that would come off of a dynamic microphone rather than condenser Setting it down like this means that we're still getting low frequency S content out of here, but we're whacking the extreme brightness really hard. And at the same time, we've got max DS there, which is going to act like a dry wet, and we can remove the effect completely this way. What the sound is of 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 what the sound is of. And again, we can crank up intensity until we're guaranteed that it's going to activate. What the sound is of 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 what the sound is. And that's completely smacking it, but you can hear in the background noise and the overtones of the voice that if it's not actually an S, it's not going to touch the output. I think it's fairly likely that you could null test this and it would behave really well for anything that wasn't literally an S. This is not simply looking for a frequency range and ducking that. It's looking for, I don't know whether you'd call it mathematically or by way of physics, or it's looking for what an S is in the, in the sense of the quick reversals of waveform. And you can hear how that goes. What the sound is of what the sound is of what the sound is of what the sound and you, is of what the sound. You can tell that with frequency at about halfway, you're getting a hint of what an S would sound like coming off of a moving uh, a dynamic mic. What the sound is of what the sound but it's really quacking a lot. You can exaggerate it by putting frequency down to zero. What the sound is of 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 what the sound is of. Or you can continue to voice it using frequency to be a little more than halfway. And that's going to give you a whole range of um, S tonalities that you can use. What the sound is of 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 what the sound is. And then you can use max DS, which doesn't have to be at minus 48, to just dial in where you'd want it to be. What the sound is of 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 pull back the intensity just a little bit and what you will end up with is essentially a perfect de for free because this is air windows and it's patreon supported and you can have this i have this little way of um giving the tools of production to the audio worker just that's just the way I like to roll. So you can have this. There's no kind of unlock or anything like that. And all I ask is don't make this be a secret weapon. 
because just as it was when I was selling these for 50 bucks a pop and you had to buy it directly, the more people keep it a secret, the harder my life becomes because it's like, you know, I have to eat and buy firewood for my wood stove and get through the winter and all that kind of stuff. So when people try to hide what they're able to do with my stuff, like, uh, here, I'll show you. I'll run it through once without DS and then once with DS as I have set it. It's about 18 dB ducking. Frequency is about, oh, 652 or so. And the intensity was about 0517 for this particular recording. But you might have noticed that when you crank the DS and frequency all the way down, you can pretty much hear where it's kicking in. So what you want to do is find the spot where it's hitting the S's, and then there's a huge amount of wiggle room between where it's hitting the S's and if it's stepping on anything else. So this without, and then it'll go the second time through with DS. Listen and tell me whether it sounds as if there's any kind of DS or happening at all, because the idea is it sounds like no processing was used and the microphone was just perfect from the beginning. We go. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de-esser. So this is supposed to be very S-y. Thank you very much. Goodbye. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de-esser. So this is supposed to be very S-y. Now that was almost a little lispy. I feel as if that was harder DSing than it needed. So what we're going to do, and I'm not even going to uh, keep listening to it through here. Let's just fiddle with this a little bit and then see what we get. Just a little less intensity to about 0.5 or so. A little less maximum DS, and let's give it some more highs. Go to about 772. And now here's what we got. This is a testing being done on the microphone so that we can hear what the sound is of the de-esser. So this is supposed to be very S-y. Thank you very much. Say no more. This tool should be able to get you whatever you need as far as handling S's, either from tizzy condenser mics or whatever else. It's just very adaptable and this is the one. Like I've gone through very variations on this and done things and tried to make it better in various ways. And as it happens, the most pure essence of how I developed this in the first place turned out to be the best one. And that's what you get. That's what you're hearing is the refined essence of this DS concept. If you find this indispensable, I would be delighted, assuming you can afford it, because, I don't know, maybe you need to pay for somebody else's uh, subscription plan and they'll take their stuff away if you don't. I mean, if you pay for my Patreon, you can continue to do that, but I won't take my stuff away if you stop, like if you have a bad month or something. But if this is as useful to you as I think it might be, I would love it if you would add this to your sort of Patreon thing and like tack another $50 a year on, because there are some people who are doing that. There are people who are treating it as if they're picking out individual plugins that are just so high performance that they would have bought them at $50 a pop for like owning it forever and also getting the source code, which is a pretty... That's actually, I'm not sure how many plugin makers let you own their stuff forever in AU, Mac, Windows, and Linux VST, and also you get the source code. That's maybe not the most common behavior, but it's it's uh, 
you could call that a lot of support. You could call that getting a lot for your money, and $50 is not the most expensive price for individual plugins. And again, there are people who are on the Patreon for more than $50 a year, and the more of that I get, the more it helps too. Always assuming that you can pay for it, because I don't want you to do that if you can't pay for it. If you can't afford it or you're poorer than me, like, don't. Seriously, don't. But, you know, the way the way this works is, you know, some people who make plugins like this or work really hard and do stuff are incredibly poor and broke. And then some people uh, don't have to be. And if they don't have to be, some of them are able to do things like toss me uh, 50 or 100 or 150 even dollars a year. And uh, if that's you and you can do that and you feel that this is worth it to you, I would be delighted to be helped out in that way. After all, that's the kind of reason that I'm able to be here and this plugin would not be coming out as uh, open source and audio unit and VST and all of those things. This would not exist if not for people being willing to jump on the Patreon. So... I don't know how much more I need to say about that. I'm getting along okay. I'm, I'm not doing super great, but I'm very frugal, and I don't have many needs in life and stuff, so I don't eat real fancy, and I cook all my own food, and I'm just about sew my own damn clothes, or at least I carry my own firewood. I don't know if I could... Well, sometimes I sew my own clothes. Um, anyways, <laughs> bottom line is, never mind the Patreon... I hope you enjoy DS because I made it for you and I made it work real good and now you can have it no matter who you are or what your resources are and I just hope you like it and thank you.